Hi, this is Mr. Richmond, and for this video, we're going to be looking at the FET Energy Skate Park. So first thing I would do when you're working through your assignment today is I would click and drag the bottom of your ramp to be level or even with the Earth's surface. And you can go ahead, if you want to identify the height in which the skater is above the Earth's surface, you can do that a couple different ways. You can click the grid option, and you can pause the simulation at any time to identify exactly the height above the earth's surface that your skater is currently at. You could also choose the measuring tape option and that would get you the height above the earth's surface as well. So you have a couple different options there. To show for potential the relationship between kinetic potential, thermal, and total energy you can go ahead and click that bar graph option or I believe there's also a pie chart that would do the same thing. And you can go ahead and play the simulation from there. It might help if you pause the simulation to give you a better understanding for how much potential kinetic thermal total energy there is at any given point in time that you decide to pause the location of your skater. Another option that you'll need to do for this assignment is increase the coefficient of friction. No friction would be 0%, 25, approximately a quarter, and you can slowly see the amount of energy being transferred into thermal and eventually the skater is going to come to a stop and a couple more trials 50 75 100 percent whatever you choose to do is fine a couple different things that you can mess around with for the simulation is you can change the location for which your skater is that will change the gravitational pull in outer space the moon jupiter would increase your gravitational pull and a couple other fun things so you could edit your skater by changing the mass to maybe a bulldog, a bouncing ball, a bug. And that can give you a better understanding for how total energy might change as the mass of the skater is also changing. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck with your assignment.